am in Vermont. <laughs> first morning, first full day in Vermont. Uh, Stan is somewhere behind me, and so I stopped at this lovely trickling stream. We are three miles into today's hike, and yeah, I didn't take any video of um, last night or this morning because it was interesting. <laughs> first of all, it was absolutely pouring when we got to the shelter, and it rained the rest of the night. So I slept in a shelter for only the second time on the trail. And for the second time on the trail, I have an interesting story to tell from it. <laughs> I wish Stan were with me to help tell the story, but yeah, there's a guy that we believe is homeless sleeping in the shelter. And of course that's the person I'm sleeping next to. And uh, it was interesting. Uh, he got up in the middle of the night and literally sat on me multiple times. Um, stepped on Zobie, um, was really loud and just, uh, was using his light and yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. It was a terrible shelter experience. Just leave it at that. Still not a fan of shelters. You're never going to make me one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was pouring, so didn't really have a choice. And thankfully there was room in the shelter for both me and Stan to get in. So we stayed dry. Um, although everything is as wet as if it <clears throat> had rained on us all night because we do not love Vermont. <laughs> we're 3.1 miles in today. It was like 3.1 miles to the shelter. So basically we're about a 10K, 6.2 into Vermont. And I've lost track of how many blowdowns I've had to climb over. Um, there is absolutely no trail maintenance. Like it is not a thing here. It doesn't exist, I swear. Um, I'm basically bushwhacking. I'm using my poles to bushwhack. Um, I'm carrying Zobi again today because with all the rain um, and with all of the overgrowth, um, I mean, I'm soaked. Like, I'm dry now because I've been sitting here a minute, but like, I'm just as wet as if it had rained. So I'm carrying him. He's got his plastic over him to keep him dry and warm. Um, maybe towards the end of the day, if the sun comes out, even if he does get a little bit wet at the end of the day, I can, you know, wrap him up and get him warm in a blanket for the rest of the night and everything when we get to our tent site tonight. But yeah, we're, it's been an interesting six miles so far in Vermont. It's poured, we had a homeless guy sitting on me in the middle of the night. And now I've gone three miles through basically bushwhacking and mud. Yeah, Vermud is definitely for real. So anyway, I'm um, sitting here by this water source and thinking Stan's gonna come around this bend and right there's the trail waiting for him to come around that bend. He stopped to make some texts. I figured he wasn't that far behind me. But it's a pretty little spot to stop, and I'm going to have a second breakfast while I wait. So today's plan is to go 17 and a half miles uh, to a stealth site. I uh, got some ups and downs, nothing real exciting. We're not going through any towns. Boo. <laughs> no meals and hot coffee or anything like that. Just, just hiking today. And with as wet as everything is, my phone will probably be put away because... I literally, as I'm hiking with all of the overgrowth and brush and everything wet, I'm, it's as if it's raining on us. So, all right, see y'all later. Finally, the fog is lifting. Things are drying out. The sun's trying to pop out here and there. I'm walking on this boardwalk. If you're wondering why Zoby's not in front of me, it's because Zoby's still on me. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. Hi. <laughs> uh, decided to keep him on me a little bit longer. Um, until things dry out a little bit more. Pretty. Walked by a couple of these little beaver dam ponds so far. Very marshy out there. I don't know why we're walking through this. But, um, it's been very foggy. and couldn't really see much earlier when we were walking by a couple. But, it's starting to clear up now. Oh, actually, here's a good view. But we're walking through here. In Vermont. Vermont! Yay! Yeah, buddy, you're gonna walk later. Yep. Okay, hold on. We'll walk later with mommy. Look at the beautiful river that we're getting to walk along here for a bit. Been walking on the along this for, I don't know, not very long, maybe a tenth of a mile. Not sure if we're gonna actually cross it up here. We just keep walking alongside it, but it's lovely. And I was telling Stan a little bit ago, 
that it finally feels like around this tree finally feels like we are getting north as in the terrain is starting to subtly change a little bit before our eyes more pine trees evergreens different types of greenery along the edge of the trail that I haven't quite seen before and I don't know just something about it starting to feel a little bit more like the pictures I've seen up north and I'm loving this river walk this is great and oh look another blowdown <laughs> blowdown number th three dozen in Vermont already. Well, it only took about 13 miles of hiking through Vermont, but we finally got a view. Yeah. <laughs> Not of a beaver pond. Not of a beaver pond or a river. The river was really pretty to walk yeah, along though. I really enjoyed that. But yes, finally have a view and a nice cool breeze up here too, without bugs, which is nice. We are enjoying that. Oh, and Look who's walking again. Lomian! Good job, Zobi! Who's the best little hiker out here? Huh? It's like, I don't care. I just want to see Uncle Stan, Mommy. Take me back to Uncle Stan. All right, you can go back closer to Uncle Stan. There you go. Right, cool. He loves his Uncle Stan. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, view! I know the number is not quite right, but look at that. Amazing. All right, I just rounded the bend and went, oh my gosh, look at these flowers. They're purple and they're beautiful. And they remind me of the ones that grow out west that I am totally blanking on the name of right now that I saw all over Colorado and Montana last summer. Oh, look, there's a bee on that one. Look at that. Hello, Mr. Bee. Doing your thing. Oh my gosh, I love these. There's more of them up here too. I'm never gonna get out of this field. I'm in trouble. They're so pretty! Flowers! Hello! We're alive! <laughs> We're alive! I didn't pull my phone out and I should have. We just came down, like straight down this mountain. So we're putting it in our vlogs. In Vermont, your descent to Route 9, which takes you into Bennington, this is the town people are getting off and going into right here. You're going to die! It yes, is like straight like down. It is, I mean, I'm not even exaggerating. It is like straight down. It's like St. John's ledges, except about four times. Yeah, long. back in Connecticut, there was this really straight down rock scramble. It is a straight down rock scramble and like rock steps for about mm, six, seven tenths of a mile, maybe eight tenths of a mile, straight down. Straight down. And, um, Doesn't end. yeah, we had to do it with wet, slick rocks because it rained last night. Yeah. And I thought I was going to die, but I we didn't. I was too. We didn't. We didn't. We're here. We're alive. We survived. So just so you know, be prepared. We can get to Vermont. And you see that down on far out? It's all rocks. And it's straight down. Straight down. <laughs> all right. Not fun. We're sitting here enjoying our lunch break. Zoe sound asleep beside us. Hey, yeah. buddy. Zoe. Hey, over here. Hey, yo, good morning. <laughs> so, what did you think? Did you think it was fun? Yeah, I had fun. I don't know what you guys are complaining about. Yeah. I just go boop, 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 down to rocks. Now, and now I go to sleep. The other side is going to be like yeah, the same. Yeah, far out it goes. It's like we're in the, sitting in a V right now. Like, here's the down we just did, and now we got to go back up. We're like, do we have to go up that now? We're just kind of sitting here, like putting off the inevitable. I know. We have six miles to go today, and it's almost all up. The worst, it's like three o'clock now. The worst up is this first up that like mirrors the other side of the V that we just came down. Yeah. We gotta go up. Looks like we're gonna get to camp like at 6 30, 7 o'clock. That's what time we normally get to camp. What? That's what time we normally get to camp. I know. <laughs> Alright. See y'all in a bit. Bye. Alright, we are three miles from camp and we are stopped at this beautiful for a change rushing river with water <laughs> and I'm just loving how pretty this is. Um, this is where we have to camel up to carry water three more miles uphill to our campsite tonight but it's a lovely stop on the way.
and I'm enjoying it. And Stan was changing his socks. I think he's yep. good now. All right, so I guess that means it's time to get going. Three more miles. So pretty. Good morning. Gabby, go. Hey, baby. Good morning, buddy. How's my baby? Let me go back to bed, mommy. <laughs> this doesn't change. 1,600 miles in. Go. He's still the same grumpy dog. <laughs> Goofy boy. I love you, baby. I am at my campsite that we got to last night. We did 17 and a half miles through Vermont on our first full day in Vermont to get here. And thankfully the campsite was available. Uh, we passed a couple on the way that were taken. Um, but this was the one that I had marked and it was available, thank goodness. I think the next one was going to be like another three quarters of a mile and don't know if it would have been available. But this was, so we're good. Uh, nothing remarkable about the site, just a stealth site in the woods. Uh, but it got us our 17 and a half miles yesterday. Today we need to go 18 and a half miles and we are basically like in the middle of nowhere in Vermont right now. Um, there's not a single road crossing at all on our trek today until about almost 17 miles in and that's a remote dirt road. So prayerfully we don't have any issues that we need to get off trail. Uh, I was reading some comments in Far Out about people who were having some issues with that. Uh, there's no service and there's no road crossings. Uh, then tomorrow we have to go 15 and a half miles before the next major road crossing, which is where we are planning to get off, uh, go into town, um, zero, laundry, resupply, all that jazz. We'll have been on trail for eight straight days, doing between 15 and a half and 21 miles a day for the last eight days. So, got two more full days ahead of us and very remote area um, and it is supposed to storm tomorrow too in the middle of all of that so uh, and be really hot today like 90 so prayers for safety with the weather and the terrain and here we go good morning again oh, hi baby you heard me talking so we are on the trail slightly later but not too bad 6 30 normally you're on trail between 6 and 6 15 um, it did rain a little bit early this morning light showers more sprinkly type stuff misty but just enough to make everything nice and wet this morning and all the rocks and roots slippery on the trail again to start the day and see all of the leaves are wet as you brush by them which makes you wet so i'll probably wind up feeling like i got a shower this morning <laughs> um also, as you can tell, makes our views socked in, which we are actually supposed to get a couple this morning. The main one being we are going to go up and over Glastonbury Mountain and the fire tower there, which is supposed to be one of the best views on the whole AT. And guess what? I don't think we're gonna get it. Especially on a day where it's supposed to be sunny and 90. We're starting the day with socked in wetness. Blech. But maybe, maybe by the time we get up there, it'll start clearing up. Here's the hoping. All right, see y'all down the trail. Looky, looky, the sun's coming out. We are just over a mile away from the top of Glastonbury Mountain and the fire tower up there and the views up there. We are going to stop at a shelter in a little under a mile just before the tower to get water. And then hopefully by the time we get to the tower, the sun will have burst through all this foggy, misty haze like it's starting to now. And we'll have views. Woo! Hey, buddy. Yeah, he says, let's go, mama. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the tower, which looks a little bit nerve-wracking to climb up, but we're going to do it. 
Um, also, just so you know, the shelter is only about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 that way. I just came from there, got water, and there's lots of camping up here as well if you wanted to camp up here. So, let's go climb a tower. All right, we made it up. And when I say we, I do mean my little man, he came with me. There's another dog on the trail around us this morning that just has me a little nervous about leaving him alone down there on the leash. So I carried him up and he's happy to be up here with mommy. I'll give him some treats. So at least we're getting a little bit of a view. Definitely clouded in. Not what it could be or should be, I know, but I'm happy it's something. A little bit better out this way. You start to see the lake over there. Very pretty. There it is. Vermud has struck. <laughs> There's the foot hole that I just sunk in. I was just telling Stan, we just had a break, and I was like, for mud has not been bad. It's just been a little muddy like a trail normally is after a rain. And nope, there it is. My first experience is. of sinking calf deep yep. into the mud. I guess I got complacent that it hadn't been that deep anywhere yet. Even Zoby's not that bad. His paws are just yeah. a little dirty. He doesn't have enough weight to get <laughs> I'm dirtier than all of us combined right now. And of course, there's no water anywhere to try to wash this off. Uh, well, Vermud, you got me. Strike one. Still not loving Vermont. <laughs> nope. Hello. Well, this has been an interesting mid to late afternoon here. Just spent way too long. Stopped at a spot on the trail where happened to get service and barely any, but enough to make phone calls that weren't constantly being dropped or, you know, staticky. So we called around all over the place and apparently there is a horse show that's a big deal in Manchester or at least in the area this weekend. So everything is sold out and or have their prices jacked up, like stupid jacked up, like, Four hundred dollars a night. Even the Econa Lodge is over two hundred dollars a night. So, finally got a hold of this shuttle driver who, according to Far Out, also owns a hostel. Well, they no longer own the hostel. He still does shuttles, and he works with the Econa Lodge to give a special rate to through hikers. So I had to call them back, ask for the Charlie rate. A little bit of savings finally got a room booked took way too long to do all of that and got a shuttle booked for tomorrow with Charlie who isn't available until five o'clock tomorrow because of other shuttles already booked so that means we have plenty of time to do our 15 and a half miles tomorrow because we're not getting picked up to five uh, but finally 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 had a place to stay so we can get there tomorrow night Zero on Saturday, or on Friday rather, tomorrow's Thursday. Zero on Friday, get back on trail Saturday. Okay, we're walking across the dirt road in a parking lot and look, look at all the flowers over there. Look at the purple flowers. I love them. I love them. And there's some right here, right here, right where we're going. I love them. Oh, they're so pretty. They really do remind me of the ones out west. Oh, I gotta figure out what these are. Love them. Zoe. Hi, baby. Good morning. Let's go. Let's go. We're just getting on trail. Come on, let's go. All right, he is going now. Sometimes it takes him a minute. <laughs> All right, so good morning. Here's the trail. This is pretty much indicative of what all of Vermont has been. Rocks and tangly gnarled roots interspersed with mud. All right, so let me flip this around. 
Hello, good morning. Oh, hold on a second. You know what? Just came around a bend and I get to start my morning off with a rock climb, it looks like. So, I am going to put my phone away and climb up these rocks. Yeah, talk to you in a minute. Okay, I think we are through the rocks for a moment. <laughs> a little bit calmer trail right now. So good morning! <laughs> it is Thursday, July 21st. It is, oh gosh, I've lost track of what day it is. Uh, 1.41, I think? I have it keeping track and far out. So we have, we did make it to the 18.6 mile campsite I had picked out last night. There was someone there, which doesn't typically happen, but we're in a very crowded part of the trail, being in the midst of the Nobo bubble, plus the combination of also intersecting with the Sobo bubble, and the long trail in Vermont right now. Um, however, we managed to get our two tents side by side. Yes, I'm going uphill. Sorry, got our two tents side by side on the path leading to the actual campsite. <laughs> we made it work. And actually I slept very, very well last night. Got set up, ate, and promptly fell asleep. <laughs> and slept very well through the night. So today we have 15.7 miles to the next road crossing. I'll try to get some better light here. There we go. Um, I'm about ready to go up again, so I'm gonna stop. 15.7 um, miles to the next road crossing. There literally is not a road crossing before that. So we have no choice <laughs> but to go 15.7 miles getting picked up, shuttle drivers picking us up at 5, going into town, and taking a much-deserved zero tomorrow. Figured out last night, we've done just shy of 125 miles in a week. Today is day 7 out here, straight, with no break, um, doing an average of just over 17 miles a day for 7 straight days. And we stink. <laughs> <laughs> We've been sweaty and rained on and everything just smells and is damp and nasty. So we're going to do laundry and wash everything out, including our packs. Take probably our entire zero tomorrow to do laundry, resupply, map out the next several days, clean things, repair gear. I got a few things that need to be repaired. I think Stan does too probably edit and upload a video, and that'll be our zero. And then back on trail. But first, 15.7 miles today, and we are gonna go up and over a mountain whose name I am blanking on begins with an S. <laughs> yeah, has another fire tower we'll climb up. All right, I'm climbing, see you later. Bye. Okay, according to Far Out, we are almost to the tower. Should be just ahead of us somewhere. Thought I'd show a little bit of the scenery because it's kind of reminding me of the old pine forest in the Smokies and on Rowan Mountain with all the moss and pine trees and it smells like Christmas. And it's lovely and lots of rocks and roots that we've been climbing up this morning. Where's this tower? Where is it? Gotta be close according to far out. It's like right ahead of me. There's Uncle Stan. That's, this isn't the tower. Where's the tower? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the tower? Where's the tower? Where's the tower? Ah, oh, there's the tower. There it is! Yay! We made it! Yeah, it's nice and cool up here. Yes. Breeze. And guess what? What? No bugs! Yeah, because of the breeze. <sighs> Love it. Can we just stay here the rest of the day? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I was just saying this is kind of reminding me of... Oh, look, there's like a little bench right here. 
kind of reminding me of the Smokies in a way with all the mossy rock and the pine trees. It's been a minute since we've been completely surrounded by pine trees like this. Yeah, that's true. Love it. We're getting north. Yep. All right, let's go up to the tower. And up goes Stan. <laughs> I never get a video of you going up. I was panning up. Now say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab Zoby and join you. Ready to go, buddy? Hazy, Is it hazy up there? Darn it! All right, come on, baby. We're gonna go up the stairs with Uncle Stan. Mommy's gonna carry you. I know you don't like those kinds of stairs. That's okay, we made it up to the top of Stratton Fire Tower. Trying to show you the view through the windows here. Unfortunately. It's hazy, but we got a little bit of something out here. Stan was saying that over there, if you can see, it's not coming in focus through the window. There we go. Over on that mountain, if you can see the tower, that is Stratton Ski Resort over there. Over there. There we go. Let's try to focus. Sorry. There's windows up here. Can't get my video to focus through the windows, apparently. Hey, how, how you doing? Good. Just <laughs> checking out. That's, uh, I think, Mount Snow over there, which is close to Bennington. You can ski, see the ski runs over there. Ah, okay. Yeah, Bennington. I saw. It's funny. I'm far out. Like, all the ski runs are marked yeah. like paths. <laughs> yep. So, we're definitely in the middle of ski country in Vermont, but we're not getting to see much of it, unfortunately. Oh, well. I'm going to try to give Zoe some food. All right, so we just came off the Stratton Mountain Fire Tower, and from up there, we were watching the weather system blow in. It's supposed to storm today, and we're probably gonna get caught right in the middle of it. Maybe it'll miss us. Maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> Stan says I don't think so. <laughs> Check this out. Stratton Pond. Climbed up Stratton Mountain this morning. Came down the mountain, now we get to walk around Stratton Pond, which is really kind of more of a lake than a pond. <laughs> it's pretty big. And apparently people swim in it too, according to some of the comments in Far Out. No storms yet, look how pretty that is over there. No storms yet, but it sounds like they're coming. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We decided to sit down and enjoy a little break here beside the pond. Absolutely. Soby! Hey, buddy! No, no, over this way. Hey, silly boy. Hi! Hi! And it's hard to believe. I just looked at the weather forecast and it's supposed to start storming on us in about two hours. But it doesn't look like it! <laughs> That's blue skies! Ah, uh, but we're gonna sit here and enjoy it while we can mm -hmm. before the skies unleash. Mm -hmm. Maybe they won't. I, maybe they won't. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> I keep saying that, hoping. That's happened before. It has. We've had several times that it was supposed to storm on us, like 100% chance, and it stormed all around us and not on us. Oh no, that wind is picking up though. We'll see. This is a pretty river that we're crossing here. I wanted to get a video of it. Looky there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Pretty, 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 pretty. Yep. What do you see down there, buddy? <laughs> bye bye, pretty river. Gotta keep going north. Hello. Okay, so coming up on a water source here in uh, a little bit, maybe about another half mile-ish. Hasn't started raining yet. It's about 1130. Uh, still doesn't really even look like it's going to rain, but I'm sure it will because it's all over the forecast for storms this afternoon. And let me tell you, I kind of actually would like for it to start storming. I know that sounds weird because I don't really want to hike in storms. 
but I am so sick of these freaking flies buzzing around my head, landing on me, biting me. I'm gonna see later when we get to the hotel and I get cleaned up if I can get Sienna to take some pictures or video of my back. It's just one big bite, it's disgusting. I am so sick of this buzzing around my head. I can't even tell you. I know I keep saying it's like Chinese water torture and that's the best way I can think of it. It's like that steady drip, drip, drip of water. Just a constant steady buzzing in your head all day long. Buzz, buzz, buzz. And then they land on you and bite you on top of it. Oh my gosh. So yeah, maybe if it gets windy and stormy, the flies will go away. And I would welcome that right now. <laughs> that's how bad it is. All right, climbing over blowdowns again. Oh, and more, I love it. More of our mud. At least this one I can walk around. All right, and there's another fly buzzing my head as we speak. Bye-bye. It's coming. I don't know if you can hear the little raindrops around me right now. And the thunder in the not so distant background. It's coming. I'm gonna need to stop to get my rain gear out. Yep, because I can hear it coming. I need to get water too, and I think we're almost to the water source. And the flies are still buzzing. Go away, it's gonna storm. <laughs> and here's the water source. All right, we're gonna get everything ready. Okay, so it rained for all of 10 minutes while I got Zobi situated in the carrier, covered up and dry, got my pack cover on, got my umbrella out, got water, and then it stopped. It rained while I was doing all that. Now, the sun's trying to shine again. Still thundering. <sighs> Seriously, if I did all this for 10 minutes of a shower, I'm gonna be ticked. <sighs> and the flies stayed away during the 10 minutes of rain. They're back now. Fucking things, I hate them. Really making me hate Vermont just because of the flies. Hey, Stan. Hey there. <laughs> it stopped raining. It did. It did rain again. I uh, did use my umbrella and I did carry Zoby. Zoby! Who's out of the bag now. Hi, buddy. Little man. Psst, psst. Hey, mommy carried you. Oh, my phone's freaking out because it's wet. Sorry. Mommy carried you for a couple miles, huh? And now we are at Prospect Rock looking at the rain clouds. And this lovely view down there is Manchester where we're heading tonight and for our zero tomorrow we've got I don't know a little over four and a half miles to go I think like that. I'll have to look we're gonna have lunch or a late yeah. lunch or a second lunch or a third lunch or a... Whatever. <laughs> some sort of a break we're gonna sit on these rocks and dump some food in our bodies <laughs> I think my Lens is blurry because it's wet, sorry. Well, we left Prospect Rock. Zoby is back in there. <laughs> because as you can hear, I think it's about to let loose on us for a second time. <sighs> Which, again, I'm okay with today. The bugs are staying away. Don't really like walking through the mud. But, I don't mind the storms today. Kind of like hearing the thunder roll. Zoby doesn't. That's why he's in there. Hey, buddy. And it's raining. Coming down. There was just a bolt of lightning and crack of thunder like right next to my ear that freaking freaked me out. I screamed, not gonna lie, like a little girl. We're going. We're hiking through it, slowly, carefully, picking our way through these wet rocks and roots. This 
listen to that thunder around me. can't really see it, but that is hail right there. That white thing on the ground, it's hailing on me now. Oh, you can see it falling? Uh, I don't know if you can see this falling, hitting the ground. Yeah, it's hailing on me now. Love leg! But hey, there's no bugs! Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. The trade-off. It's cooler. I'm not sweating. I'm getting hailed on and there's lightning and thunder all around me and I'm walking through mud. But there's no bugs! You want to be a through hiker? You want to be a through hiker? <laughs> this is what you gotta do! Be a little crazy, I think. He's gotta be a little crazy. Oh my goodness. Alright, the phone's getting wet. Okay. It has stopped raining. And I'm coming up on a shelter where I'm hoping Stan has paused to wait for me and to take a quick little break. We will be only 2.7 miles away from the road crossing at the shelter. Oh, I see Stan on the trail ahead of me. Because I would like to take Zobie out of the bag, have him walk again, and just go off my feet for a few. Hello. Hello. I was just saying that I was hoping that you would be stopped at the shelter. Yep. How far? GPS. I don't know how far back it is. Yeah. Well, I can just stop right here. Okay. I just want to get off my feet for a few and have Zoe start walking again. Yep. Okay. I you would. Good deal. We know each other. Yep. We are almost done. And look at rushing rivers after the rain. It's so good to see water sources flowing, especially pretty ones like this. Yay! Alright, I gotta figure out how to get across. Stan did! <laughs> now we gotta figure it out. Oh buddy! I think mommy might carry you over this one. I know, you see Uncle Stan over there. Let's go! Will you look at this? My good little boy is hiking along through thunder and it just started raining again and he's just going following his uncle Stan like a good little boy he's just going such a trooper he's the best little man ever best dog ever right there yes you are baby mommy's gonna buy you a burger just for you tonight yeah whole burger just for you with bacon on it such a good boy so proud of you, baby. I have been really happy to see a lot of road crossings and the end of days out on the trail. This one, this one just might take the first prize ribbon. Woo! Yeah. Almost 125 miles. Done! Done! I want a shower, I want a burger, and I want a bed. I want to smell good. I want clean laundry. My dog just wants to get to the end. All right, come on, mommy, let's go, let's go. All right, I just called them. They will be here in 10 minutes. Holly, freaking Louia. Bye bye, trail for at least a day. Hello and welcome to a, ooh, my hair's everywhere, I just pulled it down from a ponytail. <laughs> welcome to a Through Hiker Zero Day. I am going to show you what we've been doing today and what a freaking mess our hotel room is. This is called Hiker Trash Explosion because we are cleaning everything. All of our gear down to the last little thing. So um, here we go. This is going to be fun. Here's my bed. <laughs> There's Zobie. I know everybody wants to see Zobie. Zobie got clean too. He got a bath yesterday. Hey buddy! I need to find a groomer for him soon, but I'm gonna actually just try to get a pair of scissors somewhere and trim him up a little bit myself until we can actually get him into a groomer here, hopefully in the next, maybe the next town, the next zero. Too much to do today. Okay, we've done two loads of laundry, not one. 
but two loads of laundry. Every single thing that could possibly be washed, even down to our stuff sacks. Anything that could go in the wash went in the wash. Um, look, there's Flat Zoby. You haven't seen him for a bit. We're getting closer to taking him to Katahdin. Woo, Flat Zoby! <laughs> um, everything's out of my bag. Here's miscellaneous crap out of both my bag and Zoby's bag. Here's more laundry. Um, washed everything. Um, about to take my pack it is I've taken everything off of it all the little miscellaneous crap that's normally hanging off of it is has been cleaned the pack there's stan trying to clean my stuff cleaning all his stuff here's his gear explosion some of my stuff that i've cleaned laid out zoby's bag's been cleaned and laid out mess of stuff hanging all over in the bathroom and of course we're being hiker trash and taking over the parking lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is kind of crazy, but it's fun, right? Hopefully ants don't get all Well, ants are part of life. Lay it in the sun. That's what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to put it over there. All right, so I'm about to uh, clean my pack. What I should have been doing was showing you, like, when I cleaned my Sawyer. Where's my Sawyer? My Seanoc and my Sawyer. Oh my gosh. I clean. I banged the crap out of this thing. I should have shown you the amount of dirt that I got out of it and the amount of dirt I got out of my pillow. Oh my gosh, the stuff that we sleep in, the amount of dirt that we deem is acceptable is like ridiculous. So, hey, so uh, yeah, um, everything will get cleaned and then everything will get nice and dirty again in like a day. <laughs> but at least we get to start out with clean stuff. Uh, then after we finish this, uh, let's see, what have we done? We got in last night and I didn't do anything last night. All I wanted to do was eat and sleep. So that's what I did. I ate and slept all and I cleaned myself and I cleaned Zoby. So I, I did do that. Uh, and I did a load of laundry last night. So, okay, I did more than eat and sleep. Uh, got up this morning, ate and slept. <laughs> Went and had breakfast at the you know, Hotel Continental Breakfast, came back and took a nap <laughs> and then started cleaning. Um, so we still have to uh, actually map out our next couple of days and then go into town and resupply. Um, I have a, little, a few little gear things that need repaired, some sewing and whatnot that needs to be done. And um, then I'm going to edit a video and get it uploaded tonight. Uh, I know Stan's been oh, editing. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, I am, because Stan's been editing most of the day, and I think his is probably uploading as we speak. It's not. It's not? Okay, no. it will be soon, I bet. It will be soon. Yeah, all right, because I know you've been doing that almst all morning. So, all right, I'm gonna clean my bag and I'm gonna have Stan at some point grab my phone and I'll show you how dirty the bathtub is with my bag. Very. I should, I should have done it with some of the other stuff yeah. I've been cleaning. All right, here we go. That is one nasty, dirty bag. <laughs> he just walked in here and went, oh. Nastiness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look as bad on film as it does in real life. Maybe I need to stir it up some. <laughs> This is what we walk around with every day. Yeah. You know what's really sad is that this dirty, disgusting water is what we've gotten out of everything, including like our sleeping pads and pillows. Yeah, like exactly. this is what we're sleeping in. I can it's only disgusting. imagine what our laundry water looked like last night. <laughs> you want to be a through hiker? You got to learn to live in filth. Exactly. <laughs> filth is the norm and accept it. <laughs> All right, actually, I wish this doesn't even look as bad in, in, on film as it does in real life. It's disgusting. That's round one. I'm going to do like three or four rounds of water until it's running clean. Gross. Okay, here we are heading out to do more, more hiker chores. Everything's clean. Most of it's dry now. Set it out in the sun. And we are walking over to the Econo Lodge. They do shuttles into town for $10. So we're going to go into town to get lunch and dinner. We're gonna pack out dinner and have it in the room tonight and do our resupply. We got into Far Out, figured out a three and a half day plan to get us to Rutland, which is the next town in Vermont. Stay at a hostel there. And we've kind of sort of maybe figured out a day or two after that. We start getting into a lot more elevation gain and loss again. And that's where we need to start figuring out, um, you know, how many miles we really can do between his hernia and my feet, which are starting to hurt again. Uh, yeah, they hurt pretty bad last night and they were swollen and I had hiker hobble again this morning, yay. But for now, gotta resupply for three and a half days back out in the wild.
and it's gonna be hot in the 90s. Okay, we just left Depot Street Burgers where we devoured everything. Yeah, and it was good. It was good. Very good. And now we're gonna go over here to look what Stan found. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's. Yep. <laughs> right there. I probably am not gonna get anything because I am stuffed. I got a double burger and there's a huge heaping load of fries. And, and my belly is expanding. Ben and, <clears throat> ben and Jerry's. I think I will get my Ben and Jerry's at the store the grocery store and have it tonight. <laughs> All right, he twisted my arm. I got sorbet, just a kid size one. <laughs> my stomach is expanding. He got, I think, mint chocolate chip sitting on the edge there. Look at him. Oh, how he makes room for all this. <laughs>